guys. Today we're off to Arkarula in the Flinders Ranges. Um, it's about an eight hour drive. And yeah, it should be an interesting trip. I've heard good things about it. I've asked around and people are saying, yeah, head out there and go there. So that's what we're gonna do. So off we go. All right guys, I am, where am I? Somewhere, somewhere on my way to um, Port Augusta. Actually, I might better tell by my maps here. Give me two ticks. So I've got this thing recording, but I've got the screen off. Give me a sec, and I'll find out exactly where I am. So I'm just outside of Snowtown at a service station. So I um, just pulled over. And uh, yeah, on our way. Uh, well, about an hour and a half out of Port Augusta, and I'll have a break for some lunch there, and then next it'll be off to Arcarola. So I'll catch up with you when I get into Port Augusta. Alright, guys, just hit Port Augusta. Managed to find myself a camera tripod because I happened to leave my other one at home because I'm an idiot. And um, yeah, I've done 312 Ks. And it's still not off the full mark yet, so uh, we'll keep on going off to Lee Creek now, and that's another two hours 45 away, and then we'll see what we're at with the range side of things there. Okay, guys, so I'm about 30 k's out of Hawker at the moment. Still not at Arcarola. Still to get to Lee Creek yet, so I reckon probably about five o'clock I'll hit that. It's what's 10 to 2 now, so it's a bit of a hike. So fuel consumption though awesome at the moment uh what have i done 300 and let me have a look i can't remember now 389 k's and it hasn't moved the needle yet because of the long range tank it sits on full for a lot longer or sit above full so that's pretty good so gearing does make a difference i happen to be back on the uh all trains for this trip because I still can't get a tyre under warranty because of the split in the old Goodyear. But yeah, my cruise control is not playing up and uh, it's working extremely well. I'm um, driving nice. And, uh, and yeah, it, it's been good. I'm liking it. So, re-gear those diffs with the 33s on and this will be mint. This will be a wicked off-road machine. Um, for highway travel though, this is, it's really good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So, um, yeah, what else to report? Really, nothing really to report. It's quite a warm day. I um, just stopped off here at a uh, parking area. Here, it looks like someone's had a fire at some point. Um, there's an old fire pit here; hasn't been used in forever. Shouldn't be having fires out inside the road, but this is what the backpackers like to do in Australia. So don't do it guys, especially when it's hot weather. That's where you start causing bushfires. It's not good, but yeah, the scenery is amazing out here. Oh, I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. There's like an old water hole down the, down the road here. But yeah, this, this looks pretty good. So I'll flip it around and show you. It's a beautiful mountain range up the back there. And yeah, we're, we're going. We're gonna keep going, keep moving. And um, yeah, I might actually have something to eat before I head off again. Haven't had lunch yet. So, all right guys, grab some lunch, which is just gonna be a ham wrap because I'm boring. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going. So try and get into the campsite by probably about five, 5.30 by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on going. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. About 50 k's out of Blindman at the moment. Longer drive than I thought, and I'm getting the sun to get a bit tired here. Um, definitely good to relax and chill out when we get to camp and want some all set up and have something to eat and, and just chill out. Um, fuel consumption. <laughs> wow. Um, don't know if you can see this here, guys. So. 479 k's it's just hit the full mark now that gauge is working i've seen it fluctuate around corners but yeah i'm, I'm on a flat surface now 
and yeah 479 480 k's extra range on the sub tank before it even starts using what would be originally the original capacity of the fuel does that make sense hope that makes sense um so yeah i've stopped at a look out here just so i'd check it out have a bit of a stretch so this is hux lookout and uh yeah it's pretty awesome so let's flip the camera around now so you can have a quick look Awesome scenery up here. A dry, but awesome scenery. Yeah. Hux Lookout. The rocks which form the Flinders Ranges were originally deposited as sediments between about 1,500 million years ago. Movement of the Earth's crust caused a trough called the Adelaide Geosyncline to sink, forming a long system of narrow depressions. During this period, sediments accumulated to a depth of 20 kilometers recording evidence of ancient environments and life forms. Subsequent folding of the strata combined with uplift and weathering over hundreds of millions of years has created the landscape we see today. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, it's kind of shows you here now um, a sediment chart, I guess. I don't know if you, all got, you guys are into that type of thing, but kind of gives you an idea of a what the sediments are and and colors and all that fun stuff so and yeah that's what you see out here all these weird colors so from reds to purples to to whatever anyway guys back on the road again eh? and i will catch up with you guys when i hit blimmin i guess and um, i've got no phone reception either so that's making things interesting because i've got no music just listen to the exhaust. All right guys, catch you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm still on my way to Arcarola. I decided to take a detour through the Flinders National Park or Flinders Ranges. And then I went on some dirt road, 180 k's of dirt roads. And it is corrugated and dusty and there's heaps of cattle grids and, and it's insane. Um, I've seen a few cars along here. But yeah, this is probably fairly, fairly, uh, fairly dusty, man, and slow going. I'm just limited to about 80 k's an hour. So um, scenery is awesome out here, though. I'll do a bit of a pan around so you can have a look. Um, yeah, it looks very desolate, but very nice at the same time. Um, it's pretty awesome. Let's check it out, eh? wasteland almost um, completely different to back home that's for sure so anyway we'll keep going because it's gonna be probably about 6 30 by the time I get in have another 90 odd k's to go um, I've done 580 k's on quarter of the main tank on the gauge um, it's pretty insane considering last time uh, I got 818 k's to the full main tank so definitely a uh, plays an an important part to uh, re-gear your vehicle if you're running uh, mud tires or anything bigger really I wouldn't say mud tires if you're running mud tires are the same size not going to matter too much but yeah if you're looking at uh, going for 285 75 16 like I have on my other rims um, it's definitely gonna have to be re-geared so you have your economy back because it just puts the engine way out of its operating range anyway guys we'll keep going and uh, hopefully I'll get there so I can have something to eat because I've had hardly anything today. I had ham wrap and that's it. All right, wait a bit long, guys. Let's get going. All right, guys, I'm heading into the campsite now. Uh, but I did hit a big washout earlier and I've done my alignment pretty badly. I'm going to see if I can fix it tomorrow morning. I uh, just want to get in, get set up, have something to eat and chill out for a bit. And I'll uh, have a look at that tomorrow, see if I can do something about it. Just had the air down. Um, this road is pretty corrugated, so we'll go and head into camp and set up and uh, get some food on. Sounds like a plan. All right, everyone, found my campsite. 
Um, doesn't look too bad actually. Looks like someone did have a tent set up here for a while. Um, so it looks like this will be a flat area, which is good. I'm up on a stretcher anyway. We gotta show you what I'm looking at here. I think I'm kind of blind, don't have my glasses on, but. So that's my campsite. Obviously, I'm gonna set up just here. Yeah, and that should be pretty sweet. Shouldn't be a problem with that there. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do about this alignment. It is pretty bad. I might hike back out of here earlier in the morning and get into Arca Ruler and see if a mechanic can actually do a tweak on it if I can't have to do it myself. I only have a bottle jack. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty unstable, I would say. Not really keen on getting under the car with just a bottle jack. So um, we'll see what happens. If not, I may jack it up and whack the spare and the tire underneath the car and put the jack back down to keep it stable and I'll have a look at it, see if I can fix it. But anyway, let's get this uh, set up, hey? So tonight's meal is, I've posted this up on Instagram before, I am in no way affiliated with this company, but they make awesome uh, meals that are ready to eat. So this is the uh, Go Native Ready to Eat Butter Chicken. And this is awesome and spicy and, and yes, yeah, it's, it's good, really good. So it's going to boil up some water now. Once it's at a rapid boil, drop this in for like two minutes. Then pop it out, let it cool for a bit, and then eat straight out of the bag. No dishes. Awesome. Can't complain with that. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to get stuck into this one now. Um, I don't think I'm going to touch the alignment. Uh, I don't really feel like laying in the dirt. I'm trying to fix it. It does drive fine. It's just a little bit unstable. So I know I've just knocked the alignment somewhere. But what? I don't know. I'm thinking it's the rear eccentric bolt. That moved last time I did my alignment. Um, so I came into a washout and hit the brakes. So and then as soon as I did that, you hit hard and steering wheel's now pointing at like between 10 and 11. It's not fun. Um, it pulls to the right because of that. So yeah, I think I'll just go in and try and get it fixed. And come back out again. So then I'll drive back out past here up to my next campsite. Hopefully there's someone on tomorrow that can actually help me with it. So, anyway guys, I get stuck at this, I'll be back in a bit.